Hey everybody, welcome to Mortgage Today for Friday, February 2nd, 2024, and oh, what a day it was. UMBS were down 30 basis points in the first hour of trading on the non-farm payrolls report that came out and absolutely crushed the forecast. So non-farm payrolls came in at 353,000 on a 180 forecast. Last month was revised from 333 down to 2. Last month was revised to 333 from 216. So two big changes. Unemployment rate came in at 3.7 versus 3.8. Earnings came in up 0.6% on a 0.3 forecast. So people just keep making enough money raises to run up more debt and keep buying stuff and hurting inflation. Change in household employment came in at negative 31,000 versus a prior of negative 683. So jobs are staying pretty strong according to this report. Healthcare and social assistance added 100,000 jobs. Professional business services rose 74,000 jobs. Manufacturing remained weak, adding only 28,000 jobs. Don't forget there are all sorts of seasonal and demographic adjustments going on in this 353 number. If you look at the household survey, data there were 161.183 million people employed in December in January there were 161.152 million people employed which means that the actual number of jobs fell by 31,000 so there's a lot of flaws in this stat but we got it's the best we got these results these results these results speak for themselves, and while they'll no doubt generate uninformed cries of foul play from the masses, these are the numbers BLS reported, so, that what, that's, so that's what the market is trading. While existing home sales are very weak, home prices keep rising. The case Shiller National Index was up 5.1% year-over-year in November, up from 4.7% year-over-year in October. Similarly, the FHFA Index saw home prices rise 6.6%, up from 6.3% in October. Moreover, the single-family mortgage seriously delinquent rate was just 0.55% in November, well below pre-pandemic lows and at rates last seen late in the housing boom. Consumer sentiment improved in January, according to the University of Michigan survey. Importantly, consumers see inflation continuing to soften, with year-ahead inflation expectations falling to 2.9 from 3.1 and 4.5 in November. This Friday's NFP number of 353,000 versus 180,000, is it real or is it some sort of distortion created by the annual benchmark revision process? Well, yes and no. Smart, credible market participants don't even entertain the notion of intentional manipulation. That said, they're well aware of the unavoidable distortions and today's payroll count qualifies. That's not to say that the job gains weren't real, but the NFP overstated the resilience of the labor market. That's why yields are still much lower than they were last week why are so why are they so much higher than yesterday then partly because yesterday capped an aggressive snowball rally that was built by them that was built on a shaky foundation the only true solid foundation will be the sustained return to two percent inflation and the only thing that would predispose traders to believe that any return and the only thing that would predispose traders to believe in that return any faster would be an obvious deterioration in data. At the end of Friday, we ended up being down 38 basis points at 101.05. So 101.05 puts us right here, uh, just slightly above that 50-day moving average. So that basically held as a floor. But it took us back under that 25-day moving average and underneath that Fibonacci that's been a very tough line is both a floor and a ceiling. So next week, we got a ton of Fed speakers, which is super annoying because they always try to be down the middle, uh, and then people interpret just little things as uh, big things. But on Monday, we get the S&P Services PMI, which is a giant part of the economy. We also get the non-manufacturing PMI. Uh, Fed Bostic speaks on Tuesday. We got Meester speaking. Seems like she always throws curveballs out there. We got a couple of auctions on Wednesday as well as Bowman speaking. And then on Thursday, jobless claims, which is always 
people paying attention to and bark and speaking. But in terms of things you can control, check out our sponsor at wellthatmakesense.com and some of our other core sources and influences. They have some great information there, particularly on wellthatmakesense.com. We are running a great video series where you get all of the learnings from the great book, No Excuses by Brian Tracy, which will help you sell more.